live music time once again on the World Cafe, and we are really happy that Mary Carlson is her Atlantic debut it is welcome. I'm really glad you could come well, by. Thanks, thanks for having us. We love this record, and and the two things I think we're labor, uh, laboring under the fact that it's not true. Number one, it's not your first record, right? And and number two, you although you're in Florida now, I guess nobody in Florida is a Florida native, or very few people are. Very few, very few are. Um, I'm from Chicago originally, and uh, Mark, the guitar player, is from New York, and Akis is from Greece. And Stevie is from Florida, aren't you? Oh, my, oh my God, God, we actually have we, one. We have one. That's great. Now, your first record, the one that people have seen the video of, um, I'd be lying, from the original video, right? Mm-hmm. Um, w- you worked with the Mavericks? Now, well, that was uh, the first record there, uh, the first CD we did, the rhythm section. Um, Paul and Bobby uh, uh, sat in on the first CD, and they were on the first uh, video also a long time ago. Well, uh, you worked with Kevin McCormick on this one, and it sounds great, but there's one that you didn't do over, which is your version of I'd Be Lying. Yeah. Uh, well, originally, I really wasn't happy about re-recording because I don't like to re-record songs um, because, you know, they lose their, their magic. And so uh, they said, we'll just go in and try it and try it a different flavor. So <laughs> we put bongos on it and just made it this Latin mess, and, and they didn't like that at all. So... Um, <laughs> They agreed to use the old version. You were sabotaging it, I can tell. No, not really. <laughs> I was just trying to put a little Miami flavor in there. It just didn't work. So <laughs> The Gloria Estefan version. Yeah. Um, t- uh, something else I was reading, which I think is really kind of interesting, um, is the fact that you, like me, know about Understock, uh, worked in uh, retail. Oh, <laughs> yes. Now, uh, tell me what that was like. Were you into music when you started doing that, or was it just a job? No, I didn't know anything about music. I was, uh, you know, buying... Uh, Doobie Brothers. I didn't know what I mean. I was buying what was on the radio. Now you've offended all I know, the I know. Fans. I just I feel really bad about that. I'm sorry. No, they were great and everything, but I didn't know. I only knew what was on the radio, and it was a very uh, limited time for music. So uh, my best friend worked at Musicland, and uh, she said, I can get you a job there at Christmas. You know, just say that you're 15, and I think I was going on 15, and, uh, and I started there, and I never left. I mean, I, I went, went to different stores after that, but I stayed pretty much involved in, in the retail end of it for 10 Who years. Who did you discover musically at that point? Oh, geez. Um, Elvis Costello I'd never heard of. I would just, you know, they'd have you alphabetizing, and it was all albums then, which, were, which I really miss. And uh, Bruce Springsteen, you know. Ah, um, gosh, so many people. I At that time, I was delving into a lot of uh, bluegrass. I went through Newgrass Revival and John Hartford, and, you know, I went through that phase, and... Gosh, I just, uh, Marshall Crenshaw and everybody, and R.E.M. popped up later, and then that, the college music, I started to get into that. Huh. Um, I just wonder if you could do a song I really like called Stronger. Could you open with sure, that one? Sure, sure. Um, this kind of addresses some of these different images of people. Huh? Okay. Good, good tune. Thanks. You ready?
Let anybody hurt you now You'd never be afraid to cry The question still remaining Is where does our strength lie? Under layers of this world I'm wondering why I got through it. So this next song is called Everybody's Sleeping, and it's the uh, first cut on the record. And it goes like this. <laughs> Go ahead. That was beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me again, but I could not hear And then you brought her around And now I see everything all too clear Don't think for a minute you can hurt me Cause I see a future and all it sees is me Hey, 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 this time will go by You will never, ever see me cry Now for the secret I've been keeping Can I sneak? She could stare all night and never know And I could never say this before I just look in your eyes and I adore you Don't think for a minute you can hurt me Cause I see a future and all it sees is me
So um, this is a song that isn't on the new record, and uh, it's about a 10-year uh, high school reunion, and it's called uh, Reunion. You ready? Got a ten year reunion coming up, but I ain't going. I don't like what I'm showing for my ears. Drawing matchbook covers. Maybe I'll be discovered in an ashtray in some little bar somewhere. I can't say that it's been wasted time Cause I found you in between And that was fine Yeah, that was fine Feel so 